Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Essentials Warp GUI on your Minecraft server so that you can create a nice GUI for your warps with Essentials. So, let's get straight into it. So before we go ahead with the installation of Essentials Warp GUI, you need to make sure that you're running Essentials on your Minecraft server already. If you aren't, make sure you're running either Craft Bucket or Spigot, then go to the Plugins tab, go under Bucket Plugins and search for Essentials, and then click Install Latest. And then once you've got that installed, you can go ahead and install Essentials Warp GUI. So to install Essentials Warp GUI, just go to the Spigot Plugins tab and then search for Essentials Warp GUI. Click Search and then click Install Latest. And it should be a similar icon to this one with a similar name. So once you've got that installed, click Restart and that should load the plugin. Then once you've given your server a few moments to restart, go ahead and join it and you can take a look at some of the commands in game. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server and before we go ahead and use the Essentials Warp GUI plugin, you do need to make sure that you have some warp set already. If you don't have any warp set, go ahead and set some, otherwise this tutorial won't be very helpful. So I'm just going to set some very quickly, I'm just going to set two just for the purpose of this tutorial. So as you can see, I've set two warps here, PvP and Food. So now if you type the command slash warp, once you have the warp set up, you should see a configuration GUI pop up. So as you can see here, it has the warps that I've created listed. So it's got food and PVP. If you have more warps created, they should show up also, and it should show up any warps that you've created whenever you've had Essentials installed. You don't have to create them after you've installed Essentials Warp GUI, if that makes much sense. So now that we've installed the plugin and you can see that the GUI is working, we can take a look at some of the commands. So if you type slash forward slash warp CFG, and then you can see some of the available commands for the plugin. So the first one we'll take a look at is the set icon. So in the GUI, each warp has an icon and you can change this with the set icon. So if you do slash warp CFG set icon and then the warp name, so I'm going to change it for the PVP warp. So I'm going to type PVP and I'm going to choose the material that I want to be displayed above that warp. So I'm going to put a diamond sword. So once you've typed the command, click enter and it should send the command. And then if you type slash warp, you should be able to see the icon is now above that warp. So as you can see, it is here. And let's go ahead and do the same for food. So as you can see, I've just set the icon to bread. And if I type slash warp, you can see that it is now displaying a piece of bread. So once you've set the icons, you can move on to the prefixes. So if we type slash warp, as you can see, the current name of the warps is just the name of the warp. So for PVP, it just says PVP and for food, it just says food. So you can add a nice little prefix and you can also use the Minecraft color codes. So if we type the commands, that's warp CFG prefix and then the warp name. So in this case, I'm going to do PVP. It comes up with the command we need to write. So if we type slash warp CFG prefix, the warp name in this case is PVP and then set and then let's set a prefix. So you can use color codes. So I'm going to set a dark red and I'm going to put, let's say this was a hardcore faction server. So I'm going to put HCF and then click enter. And now if I type slash warp, you can see that it should display the prefix before the warp name. So as you can see, it has done that. So if you've got a prefix that you've set and you want to remove it, you would just type a similar command. As you can see there, you would type slash forward slash warp CFG prefix, the warp name and then remove. So another thing you can change with this plugin is the law. So if we take a look at the slash warp GUI, you can see beneath food, it doesn't say anything. So we can actually add like a little description if we like with the law. So if we type slash warp CFG law, then the warp name we want to edit. So food and then click add and then we can add a little message. So let's put something like heal yourself with this nice bread. And now that has been added to the food. So if we type slash warp, you should see it displayed. And as you can see, it says there, heal yourself with this nice bread. And I believe you can also use some little color codes and formatting codes with that too. And you can add multiple laws, I believe, to each warp. So if we were to type that again and just put like another message, just put something like, um, hi, please eat this. And if we type slash warp, it should display that one as well beneath it. So you can remove laws as well. So you can do this by typing slash warp CFG law, the warp name, remove, and any ID. So the IDs start at zero. So if you want to remove the first one, you would type zero. So let's just go ahead and do that. So if you type slash warp CFG law, and then the warp name, remove, and then the ID. So if I want to remove the first one, I type zero. And then if we type slash warp, you should see that it only displays the hi, please eat this one. So that's pretty much all the commands available for this plugin in game. So let's take a very quick look at the configuration files for this plugin. So if you go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go into the file manager, then go into the plugins folder, you should see a folder here called essentials underscore warp GUI. 
So if we go into that, you can see a couple of files here. We're going to take a very quick look at the config.yml file. So if you go into that, there are very few settings you can change in here, but we'll look over them anyway. So one of the first settings is changing the title for the inventory. So when you type slash warp, it comes up with a GUI and it comes up with a little message at the top saying warps in a lot i believe it's a dark blue at the moment so you can change that to be whatever you want you can use any color code you want so say your server was called for example server pro you could put server pro warps and it would display that now and you could use different color codes like that so the next setting is first child caps so this enables the first character in the warp to be in capitals so if you remember earlier the warp name in the gui is exactly displayed as it is when you created it so you can display it so that it creates the first character to be a capital. It just makes it look a little bit more formal. So I'm going to set that to true. And then the last setting is whether the command slash warps enables the GUI. You can enable or disable that, but I'm just going to leave it as true. So click save. And then the next setting we're going to take a look at is the messages.yml settings file. So if you go inside of here, here you're able to change like the language if you wanted to. For example, if you're from Spain, you could change this to reflect the Spanish language and you can just change it to reflect whatever messages you want it to say instead. So go ahead and edit this if you want to and then click save. Then once you've made any changes, click restart and that's pretty much it. The changes should be available in game. So as you can see, if I type slash warp, you can see that it now says server pro warps in different colors like so. And if I hover over that, it shows the PVP tag with a capital P and it should do the same for food. So that's it. That's all you need to know about this plugin. If you run into any problems with it, feel free to contact our support on our website. And also the Essentials Warp GUI has a Discord channel where I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you also. So feel free to go ahead and join that too. Otherwise, feel free to comment down below with any new tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Goodbye.